Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about competition. So as you guys have seen me post in the videos in the past, carriers are now competing with price and unlimited. And so the networks are now also competing. So we have some more first half reports from Atlanta on root metrics. And as you can see on the network speeds, all the carriers are getting really, really close. So yeah, Sprint might be in fourth, but as you can see, they are really, really close to the competition. So in a real world experience, you probably won't notice a difference between any carrier in Atlanta. And I'm gonna go show you something right here. This is out of Atlanta. So as you can see, Sprint's median download speed increased from 18.3 to 33.9 megabits per second. T-Mobile's is from 18 to 29. So Sprint is a little faster in Atlanta than T-Mobile. Now you're gonna say, well, you know, you only really get those speeds when you're close to the tower. Root Metrics pretty much tests all of Atlanta. They have a certain amount of uh, miles that they drive through the city. They don't test necessarily right in front of the tower. They drive around and test. So Spr this is telling me that Sprint is getting a lot more dense in Atlanta. They're putting up more towers they're adding small cells and the results of that are is faster speeds they went from 18 which is already decent to 33 so now they're keeping up with the competition in Atlanta and guess what their rates are 50% cheaper than the competition so now you ask well why pay you know a hundred over a hundred dollars for one line when you can go with Sprint and get five lines for $90. Now I know it's promotional, but more than likely at the end of the promotion, which is in 2018, you're you're gonna be able to jump on another promotion with Sprint and still have a very good network. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, when you travel and coverage is weak, I'm just saying the the normal person that you know that goes on vacation once or twice a year, this is not a bad deal. Sprint is still strong in Atlanta overall, almost 34 megabits per second on the download, and you pay 50% less. So the competition is ramping up, and Sprint is also getting better in markets, so they can compete better on on price price wise. They compete; they're they're the most value, and on the network, they're not getting more competitive as well. So I just wanted to point that out, like I. I told you guys I, I report news of everything I'm not biased towards anybody if Sprint is getting better I'm gonna acknowledge it you know if no if ands or buts I'm gonna acknowledge it now they're doing it at a slower pace due to lower funding but they're getting the job done in most markets they're getting better not necessarily at speeds but you know in one market they might be getting better on the call side in another market they're getting better on the reliability so they're getting better you know like they say get better every day they are getting better but you know across the nation they're still a little slower but as we go into the 2018 to 2019 with decent capex they will get better and they will start competing more and more in these densely populated areas in these bigger markets so definitely let me know in the comment section down below let's just say you were in atlanta and you saw that sprint was doing really well would you switch to Sprint if they're 50% lower? You know, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.